Hallo, hallo, meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer Folge zu Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute, wie ihr und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Beim letzten Mal haben wir Joran getroffen, einen alten Freund aus Kindertagen, der grausam gestorben ist und dann zu einem noch grauseren Menschen geworden ist. Das ist nicht mal eine Untertreibung, er ist wirklich einfach äh, der Fiesling geworden. Er hat einfach eine ganze Kolonie gefühlt auf dem Gewissen. Keine Ahnung, was die Möbis mit ihm gemacht haben. Aber er ist dadurch richtig zum Fiesling geworden. So, wir wollten jetzt aber in die Kolonie, falls da noch welche leben, äh, hingehen. So, lebt hier noch einer? Nope. Ich hatte übrigens damit gerechnet, dass hier eine Filmsequenz eventuell kommt. Ich bleibe aber trotzdem mal eben kurz aus dem Bild. Ich hatte schon gedacht, dass die alle tot sind. Ach, sind wir gerade äh, getrennte Gruppe? Ich bin nur mit Tyon unterwegs. Zu Jolen sagen wir mal besser nix. Aber gut, dass die doch nicht tot sind. Das ist was Gutes. Da ist ein Container. Den hole ich mal sofort. So, meiner. Ich will mich übrigens entschuldigen, dass der letzte Part ein bisschen länger geworden ist, aber da kamen halt mehrere Bosskämpfe hintereinander. Ich habe da schon versucht, so ein bisschen was rauszuschneiden. Dass das ein Video ein bisschen kleiner ist, aber ging trotzdem nicht so gut. Ob die streiten werden, Tyon und der Commander, wenn die sich sehen? Ich wollte eigentlich Juni ansprechen. Ich stehe vor Juni, sprich Juni an. Mensch. Ist auch eine richtig düstere Stimmung. <lacht> Doch, man kann nachhelfen. Der Commander liegt auf dem Boden. Also waren das echt einfach nur Fakes.
So that's what happened. I'm sorry. I don't remember a thing. Except for that console silhouette. Did I say anything to you? I didn't say something hurtful, did I? Not at all. You were your usual self, Commander. Our pride and joy. The same as always. Tyon. I see. I'm sorry. Is, is that? Nimue. She always cared so much about you. You possess an acuity that sets you apart. You'll be an elite, head and shoulders above the likes of us. Nimue, she wouldn't stop going on about you. <laughs> so someone called you a coward? Nonsense. Consider it's what you are. Perhaps to a fault, you heeded a comrade's opinion. Isn't that right? Here's another thing she mentioned. That if you let us, if we could gain victory through your kindness, she'd have loved to see it. <laughs> Even if it's too much, it should be yours to carry. And if you keep it safe, someday, I'd like you to go visit her. Uh, how can I visit? At the Cadencia Frontier, beyond the Far Lane underpass, there's a place where Sophronias bloom. Nimue always loved their flowers. And one of them was especially brilliant. I'd like you to bury it there. Oh. That'll show her, beyond all doubt, your victory through kindness. Gut, dass sie sich doch noch vertragen haben. Die sollten sich alle etwas ausruhen. Ich denke mal, dass sie alle gut herzlich sind. <lacht> Was wollen die besprechen? Gehen wir erst noch mal kurz raus und gucken, was die besprechen wollen. They were literal clods, man. Nobody's actually died. Who are you doing that for? Land's got no tact. Do too. Is about atoning. Riku, what you saying there? Why are we seeing them off? I know they were only hollow vessels. But ultimately, 
We chose to fight and kill them. And nothing can change that fact. Even if there's no one to actually see off, we have to atone for that. In a nutshell. Oh, I see. Atonement, huh? Hey, is Izzard okay with this? It's kinda... Yeah, he doesn't mind. All right, guess you're all weirdos. Still, kind of strange. I wonder when it all started. I can't tell you exactly when, but I would surmise it started out as a kind of process for the upkeep of the world. Sounds like a crazy kind of process. This is all going way over my head. Quite simple, actually. It gives a sense of security, lets you think your dead friends are looking out for you from above. Alleviating feelings of guilt and of loss. That's how I understand it. Yeah, okay, but ain't there plenty of people who don't care about that? What matters is that it is there. You don't need to pay attention. You don't need to do anything. But the way it is designed, if you think about it, it just works. We are told our life is born from the Queen, and to the Queen it returns. However, that's only if you make it to your homecoming. But what of the others? What of those who fall on the battlefield? Nobody knows. Where do they go? Seeing moats rise into the sky serves to dispel any unease. You end up believing, well, they're going somewhere. But where is somewhere? The Queen's place? No clue. You what, mate? That's kind of non-committal for you. Disappointed? Nah, not fast. You lot, why are you making that stuff out here? Colony's got a perfectly good kitchen. <laughs> out of commission, apparently. Somebody made a real mess of the place. What? Oh, hold on a sec. Sorry, Mia. I, if we hadn't done what we did, chances are we would have all been dead by now. Uh, th that's why we... It's all right. Everyone understands why. You were really brave, Senna. Uh, really? You're not just saying that? Nope. Meh. <laughs> this real thrill of travel. Excitement mounting. Seriously, Nopon can be a bit too easygoing. Everyone deals with things in their own way. Is that right? And why are you acting all normal? It was Yoren. He was... He looked just like his old self. I suppose you think you're the reason for that, do you? Huh? In that case... I'm telling you to drop it right now. So you're unturned up. That alone isn't so bad. Of course it is! Figuring out why it happened. That's what we should do. What do you mean, why it happened? The reason we became Ouroboros. The reason the world looks like this. It's all connected. I'm sure of it. Or maybe you just want it that way. Better than being stuck in the past. Oh. I won't. I can't. I'll never snuffing forget. <sighs> uh. 
There shouldn't be any life in those bodies, but the moats still rose. So that means I knew it. The dead don't think anything. They don't speak. But survivors speak for them to celebrate their life and death. That's why I'm here. Lance, we are still alive. It ain't like you to sulk like this. Piss off. Now I'll bust your chops. Hmm, <clears throat> maybe not, but I'm getting warmer. Uni, for Spark's sake, read the room. Hard pass. Look, Lance, I was there too. Oh. No one's asking you to forget. No one's just saying, move on. Ah, Noah. He's always a step ahead, eh? You know he's an officer. He's closer to it all than we are. To the ones who are gone. Being left, it... it ain't easy. I know. Still, I don't want to disappear. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Not like we can afford to go just yet. Commander, fight the dust! I'll kill you! <laughs> he had two months to go! And you mutters killed him! <laughs> sea guy, forgive me. hear those dulcet death throes, though. She guy, forgive me. Forgive what? Why is she apologizing? Ah, humans! Such useless pawns. 
so I win that. Nauseating. Might we infer from that? N? Is there naught here but these vulgar pleasures? Huh. I see why you would feel that way. But you have not the luxury. Say what you mean. Pleasures and sorrows, meetings and partings, their roots are the same. Tolerance of existence is at the heart of them all. You want me to frolic with them? You shall find there's no such thing as luxury in this world. Everything buds from but a single thought. That you yourself are here is proof definite thereof. Hmm. You need not understand. You can simply remain as you are. That is enough. We all have secrets, deep within. Memories we can never erase. Difficult experiences. It's just a distant dream of mine right now. But if we can just reach out to each other, even a little, we can tease out those delicate shapes. Then, with time, our bonds will grow stronger, until one day. It's rising! We're getting more life! This is Colony Delta. That smoldering camera up is valor. It's stuff of legends, but... We can win! We're gonna make it! Consul, sir! for honest. Listen here. You've done well to come this far. But now, Smoldering Kamarabi takes the field. No, no way. He let us think we had them pinned. Ah! But really, we were the ones that were trapped.
Just who are you? Perhaps a guard, perhaps not. Well, well, smoldering Kamaravi. Your name is no mere affectation. A consul? No. You're... Ja Leute, ich habe bis jetzt gerade mal die Klappe gehalten. Das war ja ein ewig langer Film. Äh, ja, ich habe jetzt nicht wirklich vor, hier großartig was weiter zu machen. Ich denke mal, beim nächsten Mal gehen wir hier durch die Kolonie vom Lambda. Gucken, was wir hier an Nebenquesten einsammeln können. Ich sehe ja da auf jeden Fall schon was mit Informationen. Aber wie gesagt, das gucken wir uns nächstes Mal an. Äh, ja, wenn es euch gefallen hat heute, auch wenn es gefühlt nur Film war, ich denke mal, dass äh, wir den einen äh, Typen gesehen haben, der den Ferrodes gereckt hat, wie sonst was, dass das einfach der nächste Boss sein wird. Es ist übrigens interessant, dass dieser Konsul definitiv genau wie Noah aussieht. Wenn auch nur ein anderer Haarstil ist, ist, das ist definitiv ein zweiter Noah. Das ist mega interessant. Also Konsul N ist Noah, so gesehen. Aber wir haben den echten. Ich fand das einfach nur mega interessant, deswegen wollte ich das nochmal ansprechen. Naja, wie gesagt, wenn es gefallen hat, Abo und ein Like da lassen. Auch wenn es gefühlt den äh, ganzen Part nur Filmsequenzen waren. Ich wünsche euch damit dann jetzt noch einen schönen Tag und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao!